about last time on Beauty Vlogger Boot Camp. Meet Trinity. By day, he does our makeup, but you can see that that's not his or her only strength. Boys, come on out. We looked at Josh, we didn't see your inspiration, and that's just too bad. Christina, your model looks more like my gay little brother that got into some makeup. And today... Your fashion is there, but this is fashion and beauty, and your beauty is just not on the same level as some of these other ladies right now. Each of you, one by one, will step inside of the blog booth and create your own step-by-step -step eye makeup tutorial, and whoever gets the least amount of points will be going home. But you didn't think we would let you get away without one more twist, did you? Ten aspiring vloggers go head-to-head -head in the ultimate fashion and beauty battle. Only one will become the next online style guru. The winner will get an amazing clothing and accessories stash from JustFab.com, makeup from Derm Store, a cash prize, and their own series on You Look Hot. Being beautiful isn't always pretty. This is Beauty Vlogger Boot Camp. So today's competition might have been a little bit difficult for some of you guys that have never done makeup on men before, but Shanice and Rachel, you guys, I think, did a great job with incorporating the entire body. We looked at Josh, and Josh, you said, you know, you don't do makeup on men. You don't really do makeup at all. And it was clear with what we didn't see on your model. We didn't see your inspiration, and that's just too bad. Christina, you say you're a makeup artist, but your model looks more like my gay little brother that got into some makeup. We're sorry, but... Josh, we won't be subscribing to your vlog. We hope to see you down the road, and if you practice on some other people, we would love to see you back again. Definitely. Your fashion is Thank there, you. but this is fashion and beauty, and your beauty is just not on the same level as some of these other ladies right now. I get it, so thank you. Thank you, and we hope to see you soon. Bye, darling. Bye, darling. Good luck, have thank fun. You. Kick everyone's ass. Mwah. When Josh got eliminated, his reasoning for why he didn't perform well in this challenge was that he has never done makeup on another person before. And I know how that is. It's definitely more difficult to do makeup on someone else. It's different than doing it on yourself. But at the same time, I feel like even if he wasn't very strong feeling on the technique, he still could have done something more like Shanice where he used the model's body as like an art palette or something, or like dancing on the chest, or that's where I would have gone if it was me personally. Unfortunately, Josh had to go home. You know, he played it a little bit too safe, and in this competition, we're looking for someone that's willing to be wild and crazy and kind of out there, and he was just playing everything a little bit too safe. But we love you so much, Josh. Your fashion is amazing, and if you just work on your beauty skills a tiny bit, you will be there and be, like, unstoppable. My advice to the other contestants would definitely be to start getting competitive and start getting vicious and start realizing that this is a competition and you have to work your ass off if you want to win. Thank you so much for the opportunity. It was absolutely amazing and keep an eye out for me because I'll definitely still be around. Welcome back ladies. You started off with 10 and now the five of you are one step closer to being our first Beauty Vlogger Bootcamp champion. So give yourselves a round of applause for getting this far. All right, so being a great beauty vlogger, one of the main things you're gonna be having to do is creating eye makeup tutorials. Now, with makeup comes a lot of creativity, but then there are also some certain steps that you're gonna need to follow. Today, you're going to have to prove to us that you can give an accurate eye makeup tutorial look. So we're going to give you a new kit, and inside will be all of the products you need to create this look. Each of you, one by one, will step inside of the blog booth and create your own step-by-step -step eye makeup tutorial. We're going to be judging you on if you hit the basic steps, how clear your instructions are, and if you name the products and the tools. You guys will have five minutes to complete this challenge and whoever gets the least amount of points will be going home. We have a checklist of 10 things that we're looking for. Introduce yourself. Name the tutorial. Eyeshadow. Name products and colors. Eyeliner. Curl your lashes. Mascara. Entertaining. Informative. And last but not least, have an outro. But you didn't think we would let you get away without one more twist, did you? We have a little surprise for you today. Please welcome back Leah. Oh, thank you for 
being back. Thank you for having me back. Of course. So Leah, you have a special time to get your payback right now. You are going to choose one of these girls and instead of having five minutes to create their makeup tutorial, they will only have two. So who do you think deserves a little revenge? <laughs> Well, I love you all, but um, after thinking about it, I'm gonna have to say, Christina, I'm gonna give you less time because I feel like you are a professional makeup artist. You have an advantage over the other girls. So I feel like you should have less time. Thank you, Leah. Thank you. Bye, girls. I think Leah went very fair in her decision when she chose Christina. It didn't really seem like she held any grudges and handicapped someone just because they were the first to say her name to be eliminated or something. Christina is a professional makeup artist, so it does make sense that if you were going to handicap one of the contestants, that it would be her. And with that, we're gonna get started with the next challenge. Shanice, you're up first. Everyone else can head back to the makeup room and wait your turn. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We really want to see the contestants be entertaining as well as informative. So we're curious to see how they're going to balance that out in their tutorial. Okay, Shanice, so here is your original kit and your extra kit. Go ahead and come forward. So you'll enter the booth and as soon as you hit the record button, your five minutes will begin. Good luck and get started. Hey guys and girls, I am here to teach you how to do a I am gonna take, take you from day to night. What I like to do for the first is do a base. So, if I can get it out. So your base is here. It's your lightest color. So I'm just gonna sweep this over my eyes. You don't wanna do too much, especially if you're at work. Um, liner and then top it off with some mascara just a little bit so here's your daytime look still hip fun and kind of you know young for your work your work environment for my nighttime look remember you're at work and you're going out tonight so let's keep on what you have on let's take it up a notch i'm going to use the purple for my smoky eye and on the crease of your eye just apply the purple. I am going to use, again, my pencil that I have in my purse at work. And I'm gonna bring the, the liner out a bit, just to wing it out. And instead of using more mascara, what I'm gonna do is use my handy daddy eye curler. And flip those babies right on up. Hold it for about 10 seconds, nothing more. It's not a real curler, people. <laughs> and here's my night look. I hope you guys like it. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks, guys. Great job. Shanice is a complete natural in front of the camera. She was so entertaining. She made me laugh again. She did a good look, and I wish we could have given her double points for the entertainment category. So I wanted to make sure that I had all the right steps and I used my beauty knowledge, which I know how to do eye makeup. I really, really, really do. So I wanted to take that knowledge and just be confident in myself that I knew what I was doing. At the same time, have fun with it. Rachel here again inside the beauty vlogger boot camp tent. And today I'm gonna give you a makeup tutorial. To start off the look, I'm gonna start with this powder FX. And what I'm gonna do is just kind of put this under the eye. Any dark circles, you're gonna wanna cover those up. And next, I'm gonna move on to the shadows. And today, we have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Shadow Collection. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take the pale pink and I'm going to swipe it over my eye, and especially in the corners and up under the brow line to just kind of give those highlights since it's a lighter color. Since we only have two colors, I'm gonna also sweep this along most of the lid of my eye. Now, with the darker purple, I'm gonna use that kind of as a contouring in the eye. So I'm gonna use it along, along my lash line and then also in the crease of my eye to really give it some definition. And moving on to the eyeliners. Seems like I can't get this open. 
If I could get this open, I'm not gonna spend too much time because I really only have five minutes to show you this beauty tutorial and I wanna make sure that I finish the look. What I would do with this is I would smudge it along the top of my eye into the top of my eyelash creases and then a small line across the bottom but only halfway through the eye to make sure that the eyes stay open. And last but not least, you really need to curl your eyelashes. So just start at the bottom, couple pumps, finish it off with mascara. Here we have our Hani Protein Mascara. When I apply mascara, I, I like the T-T-U across the tips and then across the top, which helps you curl your lashes even more, and then underneath. All right, guys, well, that has been your eye makeup tutorial. Rachel here coming to you again from Beauty Vlogger Boot Camp 10, and we'll see you next time. Perfect timing. I was so impressed with Rachel when she was inside the booth filming her makeup tutorial. She actually couldn't get the cap of her eyeliner off. And instead of just being like, oh well, and tossing it behind her or something, she still walked through the step and explained exactly how she would do it, which I thought was phenomenal and she could not have done a better job. Hi everybody, welcome to You Look Hot. My name is Marta and today we're gonna do a little bit of a tutorial so we're gonna have a chance to put up some makeup. I always start with foundation. It's always starting from the corner of your face and going towards the center. Once you're done with the foundation, you move up to the eyeshadows. We have some brown palettes here. So I'm gonna start with a darker brown on the bottom, on bottom of my eyelid. I'm gonna apply it as if I were using an eyeliner. And then we have lighter color here, which is gonna be good for the upper part of your lid, eyelid to create a smoky brown this time. We're gonna go with some mascara. First from the inside, so that you can make your lashes look way longer. And then you finish it from the outside. Because with those colors, we're gonna be really soft and easy. That's always good for some extra hair. We don't wanna have you apply on the inside to make the line. And we finish up with lip gloss. It's bronze, sheerly bronze, which really match the eyeshadows. I think I started well, but then I kind of lost myself because I should have focused more on the eyes than I went like through the old face. And here you go. I would say this kind of makeup really suits my outfit. Bronze, but pink, really elegant and really soft. I really like it. Thank you, Marta. Marta started off by doing a full face of makeup and right away we thought this just isn't going to be a great challenge for her. Step forward and get your new kit. Once you get inside of the boot camp vlog booth, you will press the button and you'll have five minutes from there. Okay, good luck. You look fabulous going in. My biggest weakness so far, I think, has been that I haven't shown as much of my personality in the competitions. I take this competition very seriously and I really want to win this thing. And so hopefully somehow they can, you know, bring in more competition where I can show my personality without being outwardly flamboyant or fake because that's the last thing that I want. Hey, beauty junkies, it's Giselle, back again for another vlog with You Look Hot. Now, in five minutes or less, I'm gonna teach you how to do a full eye makeup. I personally prefer to use concealer, both under the bags of my eyes and on my eyelids because I like to blend and play around a lot of things. Also, I have dark circles underneath my eyes and throughout my eyelids, so it kind of evens things out for me. So I've got my concealer. I'm gonna take a little drop. What I do is I make fingerprints underneath my eyes so it can get a little tacky first as I set it as primer for my eyelids and then I rub it all in so it's completely even. Today we're gonna do a natural look, something you could do every day. I have mostly neutral colors. You can see I have two browns, a pink, and like, doesn't look light pink, but it is. I personally like to start off with a little dark around the crease first, and then from there I can blend. Go in the crease here. Then I'm gonna go to my lightest color, set that as a base. I typically do not get a lot of sleep. I'm always on the go. So I like to put a little extra light on the very inner crease of my eyes and also a little underneath on the outer underneath crease. Next, we're gonna put on some eyeliner. For daytime, I usually don't like to put a lot on top, but 
I do like to add a little just on the inner crease of my under eye and on the bottom. Always, no matter what, you want to blend everything close together. Finish it off with some mascara. I actually like to put mascara on and then curl it with the eyelash curler. So no matter what, you want to have fun with it. It takes practice to be perfect, but I hope you had fun. Definitely hope to see you again. Have a great day. Thank you. I didn't really know what to expect from Giselle going into this challenge because in the previous challenges, she has fallen right in the middle for almost all of them. But I was actually really impressed by her performance in this challenge. She hit all of her points and she came across as very poised in her video as well. Hey Christina, so unfortunately you were Leah's pick to only have two minutes completing your makeup tutorial, whereas the rest of the girls have five. But you are a professional makeup artist, so we're still expecting just as much from you. You can step forward and grab your kit, and then as soon as you go into the booth, hit the record button and your time starts then. Hey y'all, this is Christina. I'm coming from You Look Hot, and I'm gonna show you how to do a day to night tutorial. So first, we're going to start with our basics. You need a beautiful palette, like this with gorgeous colors, and your brushes. We're gonna be using three brushes, your powder brush. Starting off, your all over color, all over the eye. Super easy, right on the lid. And you can even take this shadow brush and use it for your contour, taking into the tan color, contouring all over the eye. The next brush is gonna be your other tool. It's gonna be for your smoky. So you see how the, the brush is a little bit more flat? So you're gonna take your darker tone, go straight in, right on the top, very lightly. So this is gonna be your day, then you're gonna pop it. So you just add a little bit more color, pop it right on the lid, keep popping it, keep popping it, and you have your day tonight. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you soon. Great job, Christina. Come on out. I was really surprised when Christina said she was going to attempt a day tonight look because that's really hard to do, especially in two minutes. That would be practically impossible. I almost feel like she didn't think it through that she was penalized and she was having less time than the other contestants. So I think Shanice was the most entertaining. Like I loved Definitely. watching her tutorial. I would totally subscribe to her. I, I would too, she and she was really so entertaining. And she didn't even have base in her kit, but she, she knew that that should be the first step. So she was like, this is the base, but it wasn't. It was great. Yeah, she was really good. Giselle, I think, did a really good job. She kind of surprised me. Same. Rachel she was, great. was technically very good, but she was a little bit, um, she wasn't entertaining. Right. She was just very, very to the point. Very professional. Mm -hmm. And I kind of was disappointed a little bit by Marta. We specifically said, do your eye makeup only. And she spent so much time doing her full face. We do have to decide between a couple who we're going to send home, though. But I think we know what we need to do. Some of you really surprised us with your looks, whereas some of you did not. Shanice, you were entertaining as always. You are incredibly funny on camera and we would totally subscribe to your channel. It makes people want to go back to watch tutorials because tutorials are normally very kind of practical, but they're not always entertaining and you do have that edge. Giselle, you surprised us. You did much better than we expected you to do going into this challenge. So you walked away as the person that we kind of went, wow, that was really good. Christina, I know you had the two minute penalty and that we knew that was gonna be difficult for you, but you're a professional makeup artist and you didn't even get to like any of the basics, like mascara, liner. My bag had fallen, the, the gold bag had fallen to the side, and so I couldn't get to it. So I didn't even open it up. Yeah. So I only was able to use what I, what I had, so, and that's what I did, so. That makes sense. But watching, we were we just kept thinking like she needs to pick it up. You know, you were at the one minute forty five second mark, and you were still on eyeshadow, and we were just like, "What is she doing?" So you were also starting to get very frantic, and I understand that it's a stressful situation. But 
Sometimes watching someone be stressed out will make you stressed out. So if people feel that way when they watch your videos, it's not gonna make them wanna come back. So saying that, there was one of you that had the lowest amount of points, and that person is... Next week on Beauty Vlogger Boot Camp. It's getting so hard to eliminate at the end of each episode. Joining us today is someone who knows fashion, both high end and on a budget. Celebrity stylist and entertainment reporter Marcellus Reynolds. I guess I don't just want to be known as the pretty girl because I feel like I'm so much more than that. When it comes to doing your eye makeup, the possibilities are literally endless. Upload a picture of your favorite eye-catching look to youlookhot.com.